2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. What a wonderful view of the lights of Miami here on a gorgeous night in South Florida. Yes, ma'am. She looks Welcome, everybody, to another presentation of the NBA Live on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan along courtside with Brent Berry and Greg Anthony. We've got David Aldridge on our sideline. GA, it's all yours. Kevin, thanks. Bam Adebayo is a first-time All-Star in 2020. He was the 14th pick in 2017. And he said, whoever gets drafted, you want to play the right way. My situation was different. I had to sit. You gain experience and reps during practice. Once you get to do it in the game, the leash gets longer and you get to become who you want to be. Kevin, he's become one of the best young big men in the league. All right, thank you, David. Short a rotation play. Nothing that uh, they can't overcome, but it does shrink their margin for error just a bit. Compensating for the absence of a key player can be difficult, but they've got to hold strong. And a look at the starters for the Cavaliers. Garland and Sexton man the backcourt. Allen is out there with Kevin Love. And it's Okoro in at the small forward. And for the Heat, Trevor Ariza out there with Jimmy Butler. Then it's Robinson. Then it's Kendrick Nunn. And it's Adebayo in at the center position. Couple terrific centers in tonight's matchup here. Greg, great pivots. But uh, center matchups are far from traditional, it seems like, these days. No doubt about it. Kevin, once you get into this now small ball mindset, this positionless game, I mean, you're seeing guys as short as P.J. Tucker play the five. Because, listen, when you're 25 feet from the basket, if I'm 6'2 and you're 7'2, I can still guard you. So because of the spacing now, it allows you the luxury to play smaller. A Coro shot is off. Here's Butler. And the rejection by Love. Encouraging signs when Kevin Love is that intense on the defensive end. Swats that one away. Sexton against Robinson. Sexton's shot is good. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Now here's Ariza. In the corner, it's Robinson. Six on the shot clock. Here's none. And that's collected by Love. Cleveland with the ball. Out to the right wing. Now, here's Garland. Reza covering. And, oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Butler in the corner. And again, it's the Heat missing. And that's just enough defensive pressure on him to throw off that shot. I bet he gets a, a good look at it next time and hits it. Meanwhile, Garland, the fifth overall pick back in 2019, had a slow start to his career. But around the midway point, he, he really started to take off. And you wonder, Greg, in that rookie campaign, take a break. if take a that's break. a bit of somebody Two realizing shot. the length of an NBA season. And maybe he made a bit of an adjustment in his body. Now in his second year, we can see some of the fruits of his labor in the offseason and him developing. Now Darius Garland, another one of those players who is in the second generation of NBA appearances. His father played seven seasons in the league and has got to be very proud of all of his effort. And so he makes both from the line. Now you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line and when he's on, he can be lights out. Back to none. And there's the pass to Butler. Fires top of the key. And all around the rim that time before dropping in. Now that's a needle in the haystack shot right there. You're not going to hit that one all that often. Love outside. Pass to Allen. He kicks to Sexton. And that's out of bounds. Cleveland will retain possession. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. Some intimidation right away. Got to show those shooters you're going to be there all night long. Oh, 
First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. And here is a Coro. Four on the shot clock. From downtown, Garland with the bucket. Garland's got five now. Garland right now really doing a nice job of staying in perpetual motion. Ariza, right side. And Adebayo throws it down. That's everything you want there. Bam Adebayo up there. Vertical, good hands, and the big throw down. Now, here's Okoro. He's guarded closely. Ariza against Love over Ariza. No good off the back of the rim. He's got so many ways to score in the post. Just nifty, uses fakes. You have to have a body on him every time he's down there. Yeah, one player sometimes can drag down your offense, and he seems to be an anchor here in this quarter. Ariza brings the double. Pass to Sexton. Now, here's Okoro, defended by none. Now that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple 100 years from now. Trust me. Pass to Butler. Now, none. That shot off the mark. So Cleveland will take it the other way. Here's Garland. Allen passes to Garland. And Adebayo sends it back. And Bam aptly describes Adebayo's defensive impact. He packs a punch in there. Cleveland leading by five. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Man, he's got that touch working tonight, shooting the ball very well to start this one. The Cavaliers shooting their third free throw shot of the game. One shot. That's good from Okoro. And none has got the ball here for the Miami Heat. Eight point game. The pass to Autobio. Again, the miss by the Heat. And already they take out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. Yeah, the bully ball tonight has paid dividends. Highly effective down there with the physical play. Now here's Adebayo. Ariza trying to break loose. And Bam Adebayo demonstrating a refined skill set that belies his nickname. Over five assists per game. He's a creator, not just a finisher. This is his first free throw of the game. Free throw good, Adebayo. And the Adebayo experiment has been pretty awesome to watch just because it's gone nuclear. All the skills and his hard work paying off now. And out of bio, drops them both. A big fellow with the ability and confidence at the free throw line is something that every team wants. Don't have to make those late substitutions. Keep your big guys on the floor. A floater. It's deflected, and he gets it back. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. What's up? That's his first person. And the Heat have given Adebayo the leeway to rip and run, baby. Make things happen. And Kevin, an unselfish player who loves to pass. Even back in high lane. school, playing Find with lesser lane. talent, he One made shot. sure to find the others. Free throw good, Sexton. Well, Sexton has the kind of ability out there where he's shifty and fast and strong can make some exciting plays happen for his team. Now, here's Adebayo. Loads it up for Adebayo. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. Here's Sexton and Kevin Love. The bucket with the assist by Sexton. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. The Heat trail by 11. 
none with it. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. And there it is for him. And there is some intelligence behind the passing of Adebayo. Not flashy, but making smart ones. Allen passes to Garland. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. And that's now nine points for Darius Garland. None kicks to Butler. It's rebounded by Cleveland. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Doing a lot of nice work now from the field. He's helped get them time this out, lead, out. and now he's helped them keep it. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. And Jared Allen, the big man out of Texas, a big part of his impact is how well he moves as a center. Very long and covers a ton of ground on both ends. Going with the whole new group on the floor. Pass to Hero. Dragic taking his time here. Inside, Pielica. And the dunk by Pielica. That's a super play by Dragic. Threading the needle perfectly off the screen. And with Allen, the amount of four he can cover with a few steps is staggering. And Kevin, it lets him take away chances and opportunities on D. Uh, on the other end, one step to the hoop, and he's completely relocated as a target. One of the best moving bigs in our league. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Achua, the pass to Dragic. To the left side wing. Hero, no good. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. Here's Garland. It's blocked. And it's the Heat on the break. Here's Igudala. And it's Igudala with the jam. Hero knowing about the wins and the wares for an assist. Nance outside. Passes to Wade. Kicks to Garland. The shot. No good. Rockets with some nice D. Over to the left wing. Back to Bill Yitza. Pass to Hero. Rocket six. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. There's Garland. It's hauled in by Achua. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Near the three-point line, it's Dragic. Another shot, and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That one on Nance. Yeah, good job to take it right at the deep. Today, Greg, we see a lot more friendly rivals. Does that bother you? Not at all. I mean, people like to say, well, our era had the rivalries were more bitter. Um, I disagree with that. I, I think guys are every bit as competitive today as they've ever been. That's good to hear. Um, they just also have more exposure and opportunity to be around one another. Kids today growing up, they've been playing against each other since the fifth, sixth grade in national tournaments. When we played, we didn't get to see the other top players around the country. So I think that was one reason why you didn't have a closeness with guys that unless you were on the same team. Good on both. Cleveland leading by nine to the inside. Wade and the layup's good off the glass. And that's ten straight points in the paint. The defense nowhere to be found. Outside Dragic.
Shot clock at six. Fires the three. The Cavaliers pull it in. Oh, Nance in position. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. Yeah, you could throw it just about anywhere for Larry Nance Jr., and then he'll know what to do with it. Outside Dragic. Hero passes to Dragic. Here's Achua. Back to Dragic. Now the dish doing it out. Nance with the rebound. Cleveland's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Garland with it. Yelitz is there. They get the rebound. Garland the pass away. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start. Two for two. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. Like tonight, that all the hustle plays have meant so much to this team. Now just sustain some of that energy and keep comfortable. That's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. The Heat making a switch here. Struce is checked in. Prince is checked in for Cleveland. And then slams it in. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. The wide open look here for Garland. And another three for Cleveland. And they've done the job on the offensive glass. The shot and game clock separated by four. Here's Hero, covered by Nance. Shot's good by Hero. And that's what Hero is. He's a shot maker, a guy who figures out ways to put the ball into the bucket. Here's Garland. Off with the layup. And so it's Cleveland. With an 18-point lead as the quarter comes to a close. They've been putting on a clinic in the paint. Shots are falling with regularity, and they are pounding it down low. And we'll be right back after this. We spoke with Jimmy Butler not too long ago about his teammates. These guys work so hard and they're young and they're professional with it. Um, that you're, you're, you're playing that seed early so they can only get better and they're learning and they're gaining confidence because they're playing so well. So with me being here with these guys, we're special. Greg, it sounds like Butler has found happiness. You know, people don't talk enough about fit. It's important to be in an organization and a system that maximizes your abilities. Butler is playing some of the best ball in his life and making everyone around him better. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And looking at what we've seen, Cavaliers pretty much in control here, it would appear. Well, one way to generate more offense, pound the offensive glass. That was the difference in the first. Keep plays alive with your activity. That's what it's about. And a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. On the floor for Miami. Hero out there with Dragic. Then there's a Chua. Then it's Nemanja Bielica. And it's Cruz in at the three. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. That one on Nance. And drafted 13th out of Kentucky. Tyler Hero impressing right out of the gates that rookie season. And I think this is very much the type of player that comes in with confidence, a skill level, and an IQ, and ultimately a guy who wants to compete. Bam Adebayo is checked in for the heat. That's good from Hero. Greg, if you're a small market team, how do you convince stars that you've drafted and developed to stay and re-sign? 
It's a great question, Kevin. I actually think in a lot of ways it's easier today because you can be box office. You can be a, a superstar in a small market and have the name recognition uh, because of the era we, we play in. And so I, I think the biggest way to keep them there is to build a championship caliber team around them. I think that is your saving grace. If you can prove to them that you can build a championship caliber team, I, I don't really think that there is a reason to want to leave. It's a solid blueprint. It's good on the putback. And the Cavaliers lead by 17. Hard for opposing teams to box out Nance because of all the activity that Larry Nance Jr. has. Plays alive on every possession. Here's Struess. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. They get it back. Nance. It's in and he's a very efficient 5 for 6 on the game. They continue to be outworked and outmuscled on the backboard. Here's Hero. And misses it off the right side of the rim. The Cavaliers leading by 19. Nance dishes to Allen. Prince the pass to Sexton. Nance against Dragic. Five to shoot. With the second effort, and Nance with the lay-in. Nance has got 12 points in the game. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Now here's Dragic. Butler, he's checked in for Tyler Hero. And Cleveland also making a change. Okoro's checked in. Trogic, nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Here's Adebayo, and Adebayo throws it down. Yeah, those possessions like zombies staying alive out there, courtesy of Bam Adebayo. Sexton attacking. A shot missing. Some solid defense from Butler. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Loads it up for Adebayo. Hammers the alley-oop through. Smart play by Jimmy Butler. Spots the open man. Tack up an assist. Now, here's Okoro. He has five. Prince, the pass to Nance. Prince kicks to Okoro. Two on the clock. And it's hauled in by the Heat. The pass to Struess. Outside Butler, pass to Dragic. Here's Struess. The Heat need to get a shot off. There's the three. But he stays with it. Sexton against Dragic. The shot misses. Yeah, pretty safe to say that this is the kind of game that you just want to flush as soon as you get done with it. Here's Nance and the jam by Larry Nance. Sexton realizing that one of his guys is wide open and that court awareness, he was able to get it to him. Here's Struess. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Just four to shoot. The Elite misses. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone is afforded an easy miss or two. Yeah, that happens. Important thing is for players, just don't beat yourself up and make a miss like that cost you another play. Now, here's Sexton. He's got five. Goes up with a stripe, and he hits the jump shot. Time out, time out. Sexton's got seven points in the game. Letting Sexton fall into that kind of rhythm, that's a disaster for the defense. they got to be better. Now a timeout called by Miami. The Cavs really took a long look at Colin Sexton last year as a playmaker, and it seems like he's moving more and more into that role of being a microwave scorer. Kevin Love's checked in for the Cavaliers. Osman comes in for Torian Prince. Butler finds none. Passes it to Autobio, and Autobio throws it down. 
Yeah, you try your best defensively to push Bam away from the rim. That's easier said than done. And Brent, the numbers for Sexton back that up. He's a great scorer, as we know, but his assist totals are low. And this is why I think, Kevin, there's a lot of consideration where Sexton might move naturally into that guy that comes off the bench and creates disruption with his offensive output. Feels like a lot of Lou Williams type of moments could be ahead for a player like Colin Sexton. The Cavaliers leading by 16. Pass to Austin. And here is a core roll. The feed to Sexton. Stolen by Robinson. In transition, here comes Miami. And it's in there. And that's how you do it. Impressive play, explosive finish. Yeah, sweet finishes like that. You see everybody get up. Look at the guys on the bench. They're fired up. Here's Allen. They can't stop the run with that one. The Heat have gone 7 of 15 from the field here in the second quarter. Just under 50% shooting. Cleveland's gone 0 of 2 from deep here in the second. Left side, Sexton. Now, here's Okoro. Defense right on him. Knocks it loose. And stolen by Butler. Loads it up for Adebayo. It's stolen by Allen. Sexton against Robinson. Sexton's shot is good. Sexton with the ball on a string with a beautiful sequence. And here's none. Well, their pass to Adebayo. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And Bam Adebayo has a chance to be a very good interior defender. The way he moves his feet, and because he's so physical, he's a presence down there. Free throw good, Adebayo. And Brent's story has it in his draft workouts. The Heat ram Adebayo to exhaustion, then put him to the test guarding wing players. Yeah, they looked at him and said, in effect, you must not know who I am and the kind of work that I've done. He's got that kind of edge, and that's the thing that this Heat culture is always looking for. Greg, did you know when you were playing that you'd eventually want to call games, be in the broadcast uh, table? Kevin, no idea. I, I didn't have any clue. And quite honestly, didn't really think that there was a, a career that one could have in terms of broadcasting. You know, because cable was just kind of coming on as I was retiring. You didn't have your own network and the things that you take for granted now. So looking back on it, no, but boy, am I glad I did. I am glad you did, too. You, you probably don't remember this. Doc Rivers and I were doing a game. You came over to say hi to the two of us. Went back out on the floor. Doc nudges me and said he'll be great in TV. We saw it then. He's a, he's a good mind. The man knows what he's talking about. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge. He's reporting from the sideline. Hey, Kevin, thank you. We were all witnesses last year to the pandemic, struck with worldwide repercussions. The NBA was no exception. The 1920 season was altered, and this season was delayed. But the league is finding a sense of solidarity and resolve under the leadership of Adam Silver. Now, sports is a microcosm of society as a whole. And we all are finding different ways to overcome this. Kevin, back to you. Thanks, GA. Oh, whether things are good, bad, or indifferent, coaches will have adjustments to make throughout the course of the game. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. you got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. Achua, he's checked in for Autobio. Feeds it to Okoro. Six to shoot. Here's Osman. That one's not going to go. Good D by Ariza. And the pass to Iguodala. Good ball movement here by Miami. Ariza kicks to Iguodala. Pass to none. 
off the mark and a chance to trim it to single digits. Oh, and here we go. Coro's got it. The fast break chance. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. And that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second chance opportunities again and again. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. Near the three-point line, it's Love. Doesn't go for him. And Miami the other way now. None passes to Butler. Now, here's none. Defense is right there. And a missed late. Now, Cleveland moving it up. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Garland does a good job there getting the shot up into the air while he's being fouled. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good. Garland. Tyler Hero, he's checked in for the Heat. And Cleveland also making a change. Windler's checked in. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And Nunn has got the ball here for the Heat. They trail by 14. Hero passes to Nunn. Six on the shot clock. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falls. We've got 108 left in the first half. To the middle. Here's Windler. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. And the Cavaliers lead by 16. Sometimes it looks like for Garland, the game comes a bit easy, whether making plays for himself or others. Hero. Down it goes. That's four made from the field. He's four of eight. And not a great start for him in the first, but he's quickly starting to turn it around. And he uses the glass on the layup. Garland's got 18 points in the game. Pretty effective off the bounce there. Garland quick, and that got him to the rack. Passes it to Hero. The shot's good on the assist by Igudala. He's been terrific tonight, and with a little help from the other guys on the floor, they might be able to turn this game around. Kicks it out to Love. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Ariza. seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Love the pass to Wade. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Cleveland shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. At the line for two. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And both free throws good for Wade. None looking around. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Nunn's got six. And so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers looking at a 13-point lead heading into the next quarter. Everything's falling into place, and we'll see if they can keep it going. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much. From one Kevin to another, you guys were dominant in that first half, and you have a big lead, but... Do you forget about that in the second half? Oh, yeah. We got to treat it like a 0-0 game. 
I know we're going to say in the locker room we got to come out and win the third quarter. If we do that, we feel like we'll be okay. But like I said, this team is tough. We know they're capable of coming back. Well, we'll see what happens, Kevin. Thanks. Now back to the other Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. It's Cleveland out on top at halftime. They have a 13-point lead. Shaq, how do you think Cleveland played? Well, they're out in front tonight because of their offensive rebound. Those second-chance buckets came into play in a big way. Those are effort points, momentum builders, salvaging points off the scrap heap. You've never heard me say scrap heap before. I, mean, I don't even know what it means. It just sounded good. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on Miami? Well, obviously, they didn't show up on the glass at all. They were getting outworked, out-hustled, and outplayed. And their competition showed just the opposite. They wanted it more. You can't give up a ton of extra possessions in a game like this and expect to win. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. We're seeing a tremendous game here, guys, from Darius Garland. It is something that isn't his strength, but he's done a great job of finding the open man. Well, if we were grading playmaking today, it's an A-plus from him. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Tipping off the second half, here's J.B. Bickerstaff's five. Garland and Sexton man the backcourt. Kevin Love out there with the quarrel. And it's Allen in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Now here's Allen, still looking for his first bucket in this one. Here's Garland. It's hauled in by Bam Adebayo. Adebayo's got six rebounds in the game. To the paint. And Adebayo throws it down. And Adebayo's game continues to grow. He's on fire right now. Garland dishes to Love. Garland kicks to Sexton. Buries it from three-point range. Sexton's got 12. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flames. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now, trying to put this one away. Stolen by Garland. And even three-on-three -three break. Okoro passes to Garland. Love trying to break loose. Great defense from Jimmy Butler, judging when that shot was going up and getting the rejection. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. The, the defensive awareness, the timing, when you have to face a defender that can reject you like that, it can alter your approach. Third quarter of play with just over a minute and a half gone by. And they're one of four here to start the second half. He can't hit that time. Pass to Robinson. Love against none. Got that one, and the Cleveland lead has been cut down now to just 10 on the basket from Jimmy Butler. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. And as impressive as the numbers were for Jimmy Butler in the bubble, they don't begin to tell the whole story. He, he was hitting clutch shots for the Heat during that run in the postseason. Yeah, the offense scuffling a bit to start this second half. Only one for the first five. Yeah, but they're three or four to start the second half. Garland with it. He's got 18. Now the pass to Love. And out of fire. He sends it back. Pass to none. Wants to get it to Adebayo and does. Nice pass. Right into the rack perfectly for the layup. 
Autobio has got 22 points. And the Cavaliers call time here. You know, Greg, going back to Jimmy Butler, it felt like each series he had a few big shots. I mean, everything you want from your leader. The big shots, motivating others, setting an example with this play. Butler played as well as any leader in the postseason. change here. Violets has checked in. Nancy's checked in for Cleveland. Cleveland leading by eight. Allen outside. Lobbed up there for Allen. An emphatic LU jam. When you have an elite wingspan like Jared Allen, you make those alley-oops look easy. Here's Otobio. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's on Jared Allen. Three trips to the line so far for him in this one. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good. Adebayo. Goran Dragic is checked in for Kendrick Nunn. And out of Bayern. Drops them both. Cleveland leading by eight. Sexton the pass to Okoro. And there's a foul that goes on Jimmy Butler. That's foul number two for him. Prince has checked in for Cleveland. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. He dishes it to Allen. Down to five on the shot clock. There's Garland. And it's Miami with the rebound. Violuts has got his fourth rebound in this one. He told me this was the kind of game he was going to have. I would not have expected them to be in front right now. And, and maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. Butler up top, guarded by Prince. Butler against Prince. Puts one up from 19. The Cavaliers pull it in. Allen's got six rebounds here tonight. And there's Sexton. That's good on the assist by Garland. Garland's got his seventh assist in the game. Rogic finds Butler. And stolen by Prince. And oh, here we go. Prince has got it. The fast break chance. Garland with the bucket. Yeah, you would think a coach might have talked to his defense about making the adjustment on him. But right now, he's just lighting him up. Rogic dishes to Robinson. Passes it to Butler. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Yeah, pretty good show of strength there by Jimmy Butler, able to convert even after the hit. And taken with the 30th pick back in 2011, Jimmy Butler went from 15th man in Chicago, riding the end of the bench, to What's franchise up? player in the course of four seasons. And Greg, it seemed in Chicago and Minnesota, maybe Jimmy Butler wore out his welcome. Philadelphia, they had him and they had to juggle multiple stars. But man, Miami, the Heat handed him the keys and he has taken off. And Kevin, he's shown himself worthy, lifting them to a top seed in the East and himself into the MVP conversation. 
Garland with the bucket. That's pretty tough for Garland at his size to be able to score around the contest. Trogic with it, and Allen picks him up defensively. And stolen by Sexton. So that's a floater go. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Sexton more and more in control and trying to deal with the aggressive defense so far in this game. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. The Cavaliers making a switch here. Windler's checked in. The Heat trail by 13. Outside Butler. Off target from outside. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Well, Sexton as a guard making that look so, so pretty. Loads it up for Adebayo. Throws down the alley-oop slam. Chemistry at its best. An unreal alley-oop. Yeah, you're right. The pass, the catch, the dunk. All of it perfect. Now here's Prince. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Sexton for three. It's hauled in by Bam Adebayo. Adebayo's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Offensive rebound. Plays it up and banks it in. Well, Bam Adebayo's so efficient right there. He picks a smart shot that fits his skill set. It's Prince on the wing. Allen in the post. He's guarded by Adebayo. And here's Prince outside. It's Adebayo with the rebound. And so Adebayo will bring it up for Miami. 11-point game. Struz passes to Adebayo. From deep. Offensive rebound heat. The tray. That one doesn't go. Cleveland's gone 2 of 5 with a three-point shot since coming out of the break. Allen and stolen by Butler. Oh, and a fast break for the Heat. Iguodala's running. Here's Struz. No good on the triple. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. Now here's Butler. After Colin Sexton's miss. Gets the pass to Butler. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. Here's Sexton, and he can't stop this drought. Another miss. Right side, Dragic. Oof, this has been brutal. I mean, he still hasn't made a single shot. No wonder they're struggling. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the five. Sexton, not one of the bigger guards in the league, but he plays with a tremendous tenacity. He's gone two for two at the line so far. And a very steady season for him at the charity stripe last year. He was right at 85%. The first one falls. So both teams changing it up here. And Sexton drops them both. The Heat trail by 13. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Dragic with it. Wade picks him up. No good from Trogic. That's the only kind of defense that's going to cut the mustard here tonight. You got to stay on top of a guy like that who can play at such a high level offensively. Nance against Iguodala. Rocket six. Fires from deep. The shot, no good. And Miami the other way now. Here's Butler, and the bucket is good. Three point play chance here for him. He was sitting back a little bit there in the first half, but. Feels like showtime now, and he's ready to put some major points up on the board. Trevor Ariza's checked in for the Heat. Kendrick Nunn comes in for Goran Dragic. What's up?
And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. The Cavaliers leading by 10. They get a hand on it. Stolen by nine. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. Butler's got 10 points now just in this quarter. Timeout called Cleveland. Kendrick Nunn playing at Southside Chicago's Simeon High. That's the exact same high school that one Derek Rose came from. He also played alongside Jabari Parker and won four state titles there. Checked in for Miami. The Cavaliers leading by eight. And those four straight titles in Illinois record made it seven total in Simeon's history. That's unbelievable stuff, and that's probably why there's great reason why Kendrick Dunn's jersey hangs there in the rafters. Only four players have gotten that honor. Adebayo on the follow. Adebayo's got 16 here in the second half. Well, uh, they're getting stops, and they're attacking on the offense. Yeah, coaching staff probably loves this, just grinding out defensive possessions, which is helping them get back into their offensive flow. Beautiful job closing the gap here. Let's see if they can sustain this run. Well, they've shown both effort and will to get back into this one, but can they finish this one off? Can't let up now. The shot's good from Nance. And that bucket should stop the bleeding. And none has got the ball here for the Heat. They trail by six. Outside Ariza. Pass to Hero. Unloads. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Nance has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. And out of Bayer who sends it back. Here's Ariza, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Two shots. Known as a defensive Foul. specialist for many Two. years, it's the ability for Ariza still to consistently be a threat out there from the three-point line, especially from the corners. First trip to the free-throw line for him in this one. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And Miami making a change here. Robinson's checked in. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. And for years now, GA, Kevin Love, one of the better outside shooting big men in the game. He can really light it up. I tell you, when Love gets it going, he is hard to slow down. Great on the catch and shoot. I have to believe it wasn't a large part of his game until he was established in the NBA. Outside, Sexton. If a floater, Ariza with the rebound. The Heat trail by five. There's the pass to Autobahn. Right on the bucket. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Garland, he's checked in for Nance. Mind the lane. Mind the lane. One shot. Free throw good, out of bio. It's a neck and neck game here in Miami. Outside, Sexton. And it's still a rare sight. 
tonight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. Well, this kind of effort will energize the team and get you going, just gobbling up every board. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. Cavaliers on top. They lead by two. Back after this from the American Airlines Arena. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, and, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed, and you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Yeah, sometimes that's what can separate some of the best players, not just creating for yourself, but creating for others as well. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. They've got Robinson, Trevor Ariza out there with Adebayo. Then it's Kendrick Nunn, and it's Hero into the two. That's the group in the game for the Heat. There's Garland, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And the first one drops. Impeccable from the line since halftime. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And so it's none with it. He brings it up for the Miami Heat. Four-point game. Ariza, right side. Pass to Hero. Clock at four. Holds it up for Adebayo. An emphatic LU jam. Nice roll by Adebayo, just having himself ready to receive that pass. Garland with it. Now defended by Adebayo. Pass to Garland. And there's the call on Jetty Osman. That'll be his second foul of the game. And uh, Miami shooting pretty well at 46% from the floor. Down low. And it's slammed in by Ariza. You've got to give them a lot of credit for just battling back into this game. Well, there's an ebb and a flow. They had a hard time earlier, but now... Love oh. wide open. He fires. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. Kevin Love recognizes the space before he caught the ball, so plenty of room to shoot that ball. And Garland comes to help. And Robinson wide open. He shoots. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Cavaliers leading. Pass to Osman. Love kicks to Eisman. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. Heat moving the ball around. Reza passes to Hero. That one goes in. Hero's got the game tied up here for the Heat. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Kicks it out to Love. Connects from three-point range. Love's got five points now this quarter. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Sexton deciding where to go with it. The 11-footer, and Adebayo sends it back. 
There's Garland, and it's out of bounds. The Cavaliers able to retain possession here. Jared Allen checked in for Cleveland. And the Cavaliers call time here. Cavaliers time out. Checked in for Tyler Hero. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, thanks. During that last break, I listened in to J.B. Bickerstaff's huddle. We told him, hey, this game is there for you, but we got to go get it. 50-50 balls getting to the basket. We have to give it all right now, Kevin. Thank you, David. Here is Robinson. Darius Garland picking up that last basket. Now, here's none. G right on him. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot. 24-second violation. The Cavaliers leading by three. Allen outside to the inside. Sexton, great pass to set up the lay-in. Sexton's got 14 points here in the second half. Now, none to the middle. Here's on and it's sent back by Allen. And how about, and with that great length and awareness, Allen continues to build his reputation as a shot blocker. Ariza brings the double, and we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. You two. That's a jump ball. And so it's Cleveland with it. Now, here's Garland, defended by none. The Heat trail by five. And Garland comes to help. Robinson, that's good. Defensively, you can't back off him that much. You don't want to give up easy threes at this stage of the game. Now, here's Okoro. And there's Sexton. That's good on the assist from Okoro. Sexton's got 25 points in the game. Inside, here's Adebayo. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's on Jared Allen. And the defense just all over Bam, but he hangs tough. Two. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw missing. A different look for Miami. Jimmy Butler comes in for Andre Iguodala. And it's Drogic in for Kendrick Nunn. And he's good on the second. Cleveland leading by three. Garland, the pass to Sexton. Makes it off the glass. Sexton's got six here in this quarter. Uh, when you get physical like that, I don't think Sexton minds it all that much, able to play through it. The pass to Autobahn. It's a hand on it. Just come down the selection. Bad shots in the first half. Here in the second, using his head, finding some more efficient opportunities to score. There's Garland. It comes. And the foul. That's on Goran Dragic. Just no resistance inside at all. They are feasting. This is a straight buffet. It is. It's a big one. And load the plate. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Nance has checked in. Six. Pass 
pass to Autobio. And that one's good by Butler. Butler's got 16 here in the second half. And what a turnaround from the first half. I mean, he's been incredible here in the second half. Sexton the pass to Nance. Yep, that one goes. And the Cavaliers lead by six. Nice to see Larry Nance Jr. get his offensive game going. He doesn't dominate much on this end, but he's doing it now. And it's Isaac Okoro with the foul. That's foul number two for him. Rockets the pass to Butler. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Felt like he was getting more and more hungry as he got closer to the rim. Jimmy Butler just tenacious there. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. You don't become this good in this league unless you put in a lot of hard work. And there's some evidence that Jimmy Butler has done that through the years. So he gets them both. I felt like he was a little hesitant in the first half, but really he's amping himself up here and battering around to get himself to the free throw line. Now here's Sexton. Fires for three. Out of bounds. Miami takes possession. He's And so here is Miami, trailing by four. Now a timeout called by Miami. You look at Darius Garland. Guys, what a contribution. Well, I hope this one is not to draw up a play, but to think about how they're going to defend that man. He's putting up some major numbers. A moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Darius Garland. And guys, he's been about as close to perfection as you can be. The intensity he's played with has been amazing. Just no let up. And as fired up as he's been, he's never let his emotions get out of control. Finds Ariza. Outside Butler. Back to Dragic. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Yeah, Dragic was not going to be denied on that possession. A fiery competitor, and they needed that bucket. Rowland with it. Robinson on him. Nance in position. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. And how about the incredible timing on that alley-oop? He absolutely hammered it down. Well, they're passing to Autobio. Puts one up from 19. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. They double him with Autobio. And Trevor Ariza is going to pick up a foul here. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. I don't know if you push the panic button now, but that's the fourth personal. And he needs to stay aggressive out there. So it's going to be interesting to see how he plays moving forward. Outside, Sexton. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Shot clock at six. Shot from the top of the key. The offensive rebound, Allen. And terrific work on the offensive glass, and he picks up two. 
And the Cavaliers lead by six. Passes it to Autobio. Double team on Autobio. The dunk and the foul. A powerhouse move, and he's got a chance for one more at the line. Nance. And so he's picked up his final foul, and he will sit for the rest of this game. And guys, this is where their depth really comes into play. They, they've got such talent at that position. They'd love to have him out there, but they won't suffer much of a drop-off. And Ariza no good on that one. And his whole career. Kevin Love, a fantastic passer at that position. Great vision for a big man. You think about it, Greg. He's one of those players who you're kind of watching throughout the course of any game, and you're hoping for that kind of highlight. I mean, that's rarefied air. If it's not a dunk, but we're waiting for a Kevin Love outlet pass, that tells you it's special. And battling hard on the glass, they hold the advantage here so far. Now, here's Garland. He's covered closely. And here's Dragic. He'll bring it up for the Miami Heat. Six-point game. Gets it to go. That one good from Autobio. Now, some guys have a hard time finding their teammates in those possessions. Dragic is always looking to dish to get it to the open man. Allen with it. Now defended by Autobio. Stolen by Robinson. One-on-one -on -one here. Ariza has the open look. Here's Butler, and he banks in the lane. Now, just a two-point Cleveland lead. Man, no question. Jimmy Butler all the way. And stolen by Ariza. Outside Dragic. Butler from outside. And that's collected by Love. Love's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Sexton trying to assume the leadership role. What a big hoop there. And the Heat call time here. They're trailing by four. 129 left in the fourth. He's checked in for the Heat. One twenty-five left to play here in the fourth. Defense just clearing out there as Butler on the drive, playing very physical with the ball. Here's Sexton, and Sexton slams it in. Sexton with a shining moment here. And it's the Heat with the ball. Trailing by four. Butler feeling out of it. Lays it up off the glass. Butler's got 12 now in this quarter. Jimmy Butler is one of the respected guys when it comes to these moments to play in the clutch. Sexton with it. He's picked up by a reason. It counts. Whoa, the nerves on this guy. <laughs> Not backing down from this moment here. When the game is close, he kicks it up enough. Now here's Butler. Shoots over a Coro. Allen with the rebound, and he commits the intentional foul. <laughs> 35 seconds left in the fourth quarter, and Robinson comes to help, and the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. possession back to Butler and they double up up out of bio that's a two-pointer but they recover it got it and he has brought them to within two points 
You don't want to ever give up points on the boards. That's the lesson for the team there. That's a hustle play to save points. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. He hits the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. So he gets them both, and it's a four-point ball game. And I don't need to tell you guys, those free throws are big. Two-possession game now. Now a timeout called by Miami. They're trailing by four. 16 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Guys, your thoughts? Score, then hope for some missed free throws or a turnover at the other end. Yeah, this, this won't be easy, so a little bit of luck will go a long way for them to get back in. Robinson misses. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. No choice but to foul there, but, but he's probably the last guy Shooting you want to see on the line. Darius Garland taking two shots. He gets the first, and that puts them up by five. Second one is good. And both at the line. And it's a six-point ball game. Ooh, I think that's a wrap. And I can tell you, you can't have more pressure-packed free throws than the ones that are going to seal the game. We see the Cavaliers get the win here. A truly gutsy performance away from home. You know, it, it really was. And Kevin, when this one was hanging in the balance late, they showed just what a tough-minded group they can be. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. So long. Thank <laughs> you.